Babe, you want to try some lipstick on with mom? Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you haven't already, please subscribe by hitting the subscribe button. Today I have a really exciting, another swatch video as you can tell by the, whenever I have a, a gloss on, you know it's gonna be a lip swatch video. Hi baby. Too Faced kindly hooked a girl up with this beautiful package and I thought what a better day than today to swatch all of the new um, melted latex liquid lipsticks which are these guys right here. I do have all 15 shades here and the color selection looks phenomenal. I'm on sephora.ca right now and they do retail for $25 and you do get 0.4 fluid ounces or 11.83 milliliters, which I think might be an error because on here it says seven milliliters and 0.23 fluid ounces. And I even looked at the back of the melted mat, and again, it says seven milliliters and 0.23 fluid ounces. So I'm not really sure what Sephora is saying here. I think that's an error. Regardless, you do receive the same amount in the latex as you do in the mat. Like I said, there are 15 shades available and it's formulated without parabens, sulfates, and full flow. I can't even pronounce that. Currently, there's 31 reviews and it has a three out of five star rating. And it says a high shine lipstick in a liquefied form that redefines the lips with a lacquer like vibrancy and juicy shine. Too Faced melted latex liquefied high shine lipstick, that's a tongue twister, uses exclusive technology to keep high shine lipsticks liquid as it redefines the lips with lacquer like vibrancy and rich juicy shine shine. The doe foot applicator comfortably coats lips in bursts of intensive buildable lacquer color that lasts for hours. The result is lips that stay saturated with color while delivering comfortable, flexible, and cushiony wear. So in short, this is just supposed to be a really comfortable, I guess, high pigmented, high intensity color lip lacquer with a doe foot applicator. All right, let's get swatching. So the first one is just a clear top coat. I would suppose it's called Girl on Top. They don't have a scent. So that one's a clear gloss. There's really not much to it. I don't find it to be sticky. It's very comfortable. It almost feels like just like pretty much a lip balm. Next we have Hopeless Romantic. Hopeless Romantic is a really warm nude and it's pulling almost a little bit orange on me as I can kind of see. This one does have a little bit of a scent to it I'm finding. Like almost like a little bit of maybe like a tutti fruity kind of something. The doe foot applicator is super easy and precise and it's very firm so you can get a really straight line. Number three, well I don't know if they're number, but the third is called Peekaboo. I'm so excited for this shade. Look how just oh, beautiful. All right, there is Peekaboo, and this is just a soft pink nude. I really like this color. I think that this would be gorgeous, kind of like a go-to every day. That's probably what this exactly is gonna be for. I think it's a really flattering and pretty color. I did find that I had to dip the wand into the product a lot to really get that super, you know, not full coverage, but to cover my entire lips. So I'm thinking if I were to wear these out and about, I would definitely pair a lip liner, not specifically for the reasons of it bleeding because I'm not sure about bleeding. We'll wait to the end of the video for that, but just to kind of make the application process a little bit easier, I suppose. This one is Safe Word. Ooh. Mm. That is safe for it. It's like a pale, I would say it's like a bubblegum pink. Like I think on me, it's coming off. Mm, it's all over my teeth. Mm, uh. It's so funny because typically on my channel, I do lip swatches of like liquid lipsticks, like that dry down to matte. And it's so weird, like remembering to put my finger in my mouth so it doesn't get all over my teeth. So if I have lipstick all over my teeth in this video, I am sorry, but these are very lacquered and latex and they're just doing their thing. Time for some coral, and this one is called Love You, Meet It. All 
All right, there it is. This is just a straight up coral pink. I'm finding that this one I can kind of see through a little bit. I don't know if it's just I didn't apply enough. It starts to get goopy if you apply too much. I feel like it starts to look heavy if you apply too much. Beautiful color though, bright, beautiful. I mean, it's still summer, so go get you some coral pink. Love you, mean it. Entering some serious pink territory, this one is Love You Long Time. Ooh, okay, I really like this one. Typically, as you guys know, I don't gravitate towards pinks. I just find that other colors look better on me. This one was, first of all, so easy to apply, so pigmented, and I just think that this is just super flattering. It has a little bit of a blue tone to it, and I just think, hello, tail, this is Stunning. I, I will be wearing this one. I just can't, can't get enough of myself in that view. <laughs> this is like a literally a neon sign. This one is called But First Lipstick. I love the names of these. They're all like so cheeky. But First Lipstick. Damn, that is one bright lipstick. But you know what I'm finding? The pinks are super easy to apply. And I think that, the, like, I, I think I'm just, the more I'm applying these, because I'm getting into the darker shades, I'm really liking the finish and the texture of these. Like, it feels like it's gonna last a while because you really, like, almost, like, paint it into your lips. And it's just, you know that formula I was talking about at the beginning? Like it's just, it, like it said, it's just really saturated and it's very, very comfortable to wear. <laughs> I think this name is so funny. It's called Rated R, which is just, just so funny to me. Ooh, that is bright that is again more like a neon color i was looking on the website and the website says that this is like sephora describes this as watermelon which i would not associate this with watermelon i don't think i mean yes it's bright and it's very summery but i don't think it's watermelon whatever it is i mean it's rated r <laughs> why do i like that so much we are now entering the dark tones starting with a nice beautiful red which is called i'm bossy which I am, so perfect for me. I just applied I'm Bossy with one dip in the tube, just so you guys can see how far one dip with the doe foot applicator does go. It gives you more of like a kissed look, um, but now I'm gonna actually really build up the color to that really saturated, lacquered uh, look. All right, there it is in all of its glory. Just a beautiful, cool tone like candy apple red. I love it. I love me in a red though. Hello. Ah, oh, these names keep slaying me. This one is called Hot Mess. Whoever comes up with these names is hilarious. All right, so there is Hot Mess. This is just a berry pink. It's a very flattering color. I found that this one was a little bit thinner in like pigmentation, though I didn't find that it was as pigmented as, let's say, you know, one of the brighter pinks, but maybe that's just me. Are you ready for this one? This one is called Bite Me, and this is one of the first colors that really jumped out to me when I opened that big box. Ooh. Wow, I love how that applied. My mouth is a little bit stained on the corners from the previous shades, but this, oh my God, you guys. This is just a deep red, beautiful, like almost ox blood color. I am living. It's just Bailey in her natural habitat. 
This one was another one that I was super, super excited to try. This is called Strange Love. And it, look at it, it's a brown. It's so, okay, I just need to put it on. So no more talking. All right, there she is. I I love this one. I love a brown and I'm so glad that browns are back. This is just like chocolate brown at its finest and it's making me, oh, wow. Okay, this looks good with my eye makeup. I chose well today. Maybe I'll keep this on for tonight. Hello. Hello. <laughs> I'm such a loser. <laughs> this is the darkest of the bunch and this is called Can't Touch This. It's eggplant. There we are, there is Can't Touch This. It's a deep plum eggplant. I had to apply quite a bit of this to make it super opaque and even, possibly just because that's just how I find that these deep purples sometimes come out. They're just not, I don't know, it's sometimes hard to get that pigment. I mean, it is really pigmented, but I do feel like I do have quite a bit on my lips right now. If you wanna just like that kissed kind of look, you could do a thinner layer, but I find that it needs to be super opaque or else it looks funny, especially with a gloss. Just saying. I mean, the color's beautiful regardless. Like, I live for this, don't get me wrong. I just feel like I have quite a bit on. <laughs> We're going super purple now, and this one is called By Felicia. Look at how bright that is. Let's get it on. Okay, so that is by Felicia. It is a very, very cool purple. I am finding that because this doe foot applicator has a little bit of a curve to it, when you're applying and it's not super opaque, like this one is not opaque and I had to put so much on, I would pair this with a lip liner, it'd be absolutely beautiful, but on its own, anyway, like I was saying, the doe foot applicator has a curve to it. So when you're applying it, it's depositing color unevenly around the perimeter of my mouth, which is essentially inevitable because that's just the way that I am applying pressure onto my lips when I'm applying because I'm putting so much on. Wow, this is a ramble. Beautiful color, but you'll need a lip liner because this one isn't super, super opaque like the ones we've seen before. The end. Last but certainly not least, we have this beautiful lavender, which is called Twilight Zone. Let's put her on. Okay, now that is pigmented. That is opaque. This applied like a freaking dream. Unlike this one. This, this one, you guys, it's not that pigmented, but Twilight Zone, Damn, lavender lipstick will always remind me of Nicki Minaj. And you know what? I don't even mind myself in the lavender lipstick. I really, really don't. What do you guys think? Do you like the lavender? <laughs> it's not too bad. Well, that concludes my lip swatch video of the new Melted Latex by Too Faced. There were a few that I really loved and I'll share my favorites with you guys. So one of my favorites was definitely Strange Love and definitely Peekaboo. And I'm not gonna lie, Twilight Zone, the one I have on right now, is probably one of my favorites as well. I, I, don't, I don't know, I just, I think I just love me in a lavender lipstick. Some overall thoughts, they're super pigmented, with the exception of a couple. I love how lacquery they feel, like they are like super pigmented, super shine, and I really do enjoy that. It's different than just like, you know, the typical matte liquid lipstick. On the website, it does say that they are releasing one in the best-selling lipstick from Too Faced, which is Unicorn Tears, which I'm really excited to see that one. I, I need to get my hands on that one, so stay tuned. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love filming them. Just remember, all these colors are gonna look so different on a multitude of different skin tones. I am just one pace ass bitch applying these on some crusty lips so keep that in mind as well especially with pigmentation and how they apply if you want to apply them with a lip liner go for it remember i'm applying them just straight onto my bare lips just so you guys get an idea of the wear the pigmentation the color the opacity and all of the above and i will mention these weren't too terrible to remove to be honest with you typically with my lip swatch videos my lips are like dying at the end and these really 
it's really not that bad. This is my art. I'm gonna hang it up on my wall. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.